And we're back. Maybe if we're lucky, Mortimer will give us a Matrix run in less than 10 minutes. What do you got for me? Go see the Halloweeners and the Redmond Barons. No. I don't want to... I've had enough Red Redmond Barons. Go to the Matchsticks in downtown Seattle, see Alan Turing. Take him to the Barons. No, that's... I'm not going to do any intercity missions for this guy. Space Needle, take him to the crime mall. No. Nope. Not going inside a corporation at this point. Community of Ghouls and the Redmond Barons, you're fucking telling me. I know a thing or two about ghouls being the Redmond Barons. He's being very disagreeable today with these jobs. No. Go to the Halloweeners. No. Simple Matrix run. That didn't take forever. A small R&D firm is holding informant of mine. I have set up a team to acquire this person. Didn't I just do this already? He has really shitty informants. Tell me more about the payment. $435. I will do it. This is... This is my life now, but... It's better than my life in the Redmond Barrens. Alright. Cyberspace, enter passcode. Passcode for this run. What do I have? I have attack and deception and sleaze loaded up. Let's do this. The password is Mortimer Reed. Uh, of course not. Orange three. I don't want to fight you. Sleaze, get the mustard, make me sleazy. You can always count on the mustard. I don't trust that data store, it's out in the middle of nowhere. It's probably just Facebook passwords. Alright, use the mustard. What the fuck? I said the mustard always works. It's... It's true that sleaze won't always get you past. Mainly when it failed, that's probably what happened. Probably failed to use sleaze properly and I ran sleaze.jpg. Luckily, Pete's less terrible than the very first time we entered the Matrix. No, he's not. He's fucking missing left and right. Yep, there he goes. This is great. Evaded. That's not too bad. That's pretty bad, though. Hi, I'm in a pickle, eh? Like, I'm... I'm stuck with this kind of setup for quite some time until I can buy a new cyber deck. Oh! The alert request finally got accepted. This is awkward. This is... This is real awkward.
This is this is gonna be the node that stops us. This is embarrassing. Try not lightning bolt. Try the other kind. The different buds do different attacks. Are they more accurate? I have no idea. It just cheers me up to see lot not lightning bolts. Although I would be cheered up more if they were lightning bolts that fucking hit. Holy shit. That was it, eh? That's all that work for one hit. Well, maybe if we're lucky, that's the data store I need. Deception. The password was not password. What about guest? Password was not guest. What about guest password? It was guest password. Transfer data. This isn't even the one that I need for my shadow run, but that just means more money. Project expense report. Download. I find nothing of interest. Project records. Open project data. Sure. Oh, they're gonna kick me out soon. I might be able to get one more file. No, I can't. And they caught me. They caught me not downloading that file. This could be a good thing. I might get money. I might get a lot of money. He's not going to give me money. Life's fucking hard when you're a shadow runner. See, I just got stuck on a goddamn lamppost. Uh, I don't even... This seemed like such a great idea at first. Let's do a let's do a let's play of Shadowrun. Then I forgot how long this game is. I forgot how many segments are just me getting money. I've got some data I'd like to sell. Two thousand five hundred million for project expense report. Hot damn. Four thousand dollars for project records. Double hot damn. Four thousand eight hundred. Now he's just fucking showing off by offering more money. Except. Now I'm crazy rich compared to every other time I've had money. I have $12,000. I will go to the Not Crime Mall store and see what kind of cyber decks they have available. Because when you are a hacker, all your money goes into hacking. It's a vicious cycle. Uh, is this one the store? No, this is a magic shop. Here we go. Microtronics is the store for the Series Decker. Although it has some high quality software and hardware, it is hampered by the fact that its stock must be legal. Cyberdex. It'll only cost me $21,000 to trade up to a Fuchi Cyber 5, but I can get a Cyber Shack PCD 500 right away for $4,000. But if I'm not mistaken, the Cyber Shack is a piece of shit. I think I might just save up for the Fuchi. Which is what I'll do. Nah, this way. I'll just sand outside Rocco's house and hack, 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 hack. It's so much fun to watch. It's so much fun to do. But I mean, I made $12,000 in less than 10 minutes. I, I want that job in real life. Just got some grenades. Just walk away. I don't need grenades. I'm a wizard. Rejected. Whoops. Cash code accepted. Just sleaze right by. Use the mustard. It failed so bad that now I'm in combat. Never mind. A 
I think this is the first time I've had to face an ice when I can see its life bar. Well, on this playthrough. I hit him pretty hard. That did not hit very hard at all. Just mixing it up with the different attacks. Let's get in there. Let's get those files. Maybe, uh, maybe this shitty data store right here will be worth a lot. Sleaze. Use the mustard. Use all the mustard. There's, I, I said to use all the mustard and I'm still at the slave. Ah! I don't. Now's my chance. I've triggered a trace. I think it's a trace and dump. And when that gets to the edge of the screen, it's over. Unless my relocate can succeed. I could also destroy it with my attack, but that's no fun. Man, this is going to be awkward if it gives Peter brain damage. There we go. I did it. I've never actually used relocate before. I thought I'd spice things up since I'm on a gator shaman. Use some odd spells. I don't know why I just did that. That... I just sleaze past a data store that I need to use anyways. So I've just wasted my time coming here. Just right on back. Re-equip Deception. There we go. Transfer data. Dead projects. This is not a place I want to be. Nothing of interest. I'm going to be glad. I'm going to be lucky if I can get bus money from selling these files. Failed prototypes. Now that sounds productive. Come on. Project expense report. Nothing of interest. Uh, might get some might get some bus money out of the deal. Howdy, name's Roscoe. $1,200 for closed projects, $750 for failed prototypes, and that was useless. Project expense report is worth $600 million, though. That puts us a little bit closer to the cyber deck, but we've actually made no progress on the run I was supposed to be doing, so this is this might be bad for my reputation. <laughs>